Okay, so today I'm reviewing the grand final of the Knockout City American Tournament in NA for 2100. Karma's on two points and title documents on one. Karma wins this match, they win the $2100. Okay, it's on Hollowood. I'm gonna basically just tell you everything you, you need to know to copy these pro players and just learn as much as you can about them. Now, right from the off, we see this tactic that's been used everywhere. Now, obviously, quite self explanatory on this map. Okay, one guy gets his centre mid. Uh, the mid ball and one guy goes out here and that's our free ball this guy's a ball this guy's a ball this guy's a ball now there is a ball spawn over here and obviously one by the opponent spawn uh, you don't really want to go for this one obviously we do have these barriers that you can jump over but this is just a long hallway or you pushing through here it's just quite long winded to get to here and this is just much more often contested however if you don't think you're beating to it you feel free to try and push this ball on the left hand side however we see it's a bit complicated I think I figured out who wins what so, we see Not Death wins this one over here. So, Blue Team, which is Untitled Documents, uh, they managed to get the one. And I think Tropical uh, managed to get this ball centre. And this, it just got passed in. Because there's four balls here centre. I've been staring at this for a long time. But, yeah, so we see once Not uh, once Death gets his ball over here, he passes it straight to the centre. Because this is where the fight is. This is where the fight normally is, okay? He could take his 1v1, but no, he passes it to the centre. Because that's where these two guys are going to come in. And it, the main fight's going to happen in the centre. So, he's preparing. Get as much balls in centre, get ball possession, and we win this fight. But, I mean, it's a trade. This guy flaps, this guy flaps. And now, uh, Blue Team have two on one heart. And now we see Referee is going to hang around this guy. This is purely so that if he needs to get that catch, obviously this guy has a ball right here, if he can catch it for him. Obviously, when you're blinded, you can still get the catch, but it's just safer. Referee hangs around him. They're sticking as a team, and the pass comes in. Now, in a bit of a standoff, Referee is running off. He's going to get another ball, and we're just going to see the first AC 130 of the match. Okay, so the AC gets thrown up. Basically, if you don't know it, I'll make a tutorial. But you just throw it up, and this means that they're going to get dropped or not. Death doesn't actually make connection on this, uh, but we do see a few trades that we can't see. Somewhere in the back here, there it is, is the first hit. And now we see where all the hits come from. And it's when you're not looking, okay? It's not like it's a far away hit. Okay, in the low ranks, you might see someone from over here. You know, this is your little guy uh, throwing the ball. They're going to catch it. So in this rank, they're going to catch it. To actually get the hits, what they're going to need to do is they're going to need to like jump right above him, where you can't catch that. That ball's literally coming on his head. He's not going to be able to catch that, which is why they're doing it. They're, they're strategically doing it, because he's not catching that. Now, he tackles and he misses his tackle. He wasn't tackling for the player, he was tackling for this ball. Okay, if we just slow it down, we see this ball here. This is what he's tackling for. Well, he's tackling for two things. He could be just be tackling for this ball, you know, just try and get the ball and try and run away. He may have not spotted this pass yet, because his tackle's already started. Uh, or he could just be tackling this player, okay? If this pass does come to this player, he needs that tackle so he can run away. His teammates offer no man's land. He just needs some help. He could have also turned and ran, but there's a chance he would just be shot in the back. It's, it's tricky, and obviously these decisions are made in the split second. I'm not saying these pros are perfect. Perfect? Perfect. Uh, and we see this guy just managed to get flanked. Uh, there's three balls coming out. Two balls, actually. And... Uh, we have this rotation. Now, I'm not sure whether this is supposed to be an AC-130. I'm not sure what this was supposed to be. He was just thrown up. It could be rotation. This guy's in that 1VX situation. I much prefer that be being a 2VX situation. Because there's no threat over here. So, whether it was supposed to be an AC and it failed. Or it's just for rotation purposes. We won't know. Uh, it might be an AC. No, they don't AC after. I'm telling a lie. Uh, but... He gets the ball mid, and now he's in a bit of a face-off. However, he sees the other player coming, and he's like, Bun it, bro. I ain't winning this 2v1, I'm dipping. So he dips, but he's actually also going on this flank. We're going to see he's going to go up here. Uh, because he knows he knows the players are there. So, and we know this is how he's getting the hits. We're getting the hits by these flanks. And referee just can't react to it, okay? He's not locked on for him from a wrong range. He just knows where he is. And this is where we see some of the beautiful catches. That's some beautiful catches there. You can slow it down, but there's some beautiful catches. Uh, even though there's right above. Tackle misses, and now we push up. Now, this guy, please tell me in the comments what you think this guy was doing. Okay, we have three balls. Uh, maybe he was just giving up. I'll watch it, but did you see that? My guy uh, decided to do this ball and throw it into the trash can. Now, there's three balls had heading at him. Maybe he didn't fancy his chances, but the only real idea I can see is that he didn't want to give up the ball possession. But I'm guessing he's just going to respawn here anyway. But no, I've maybe he just panicked. I have no idea what this guy was doing here. Maybe he just didn't lock on. I have no idea. Uh, but yeah, he gets eliminated by the double throw. Would have got eliminated anyway. And Tropical, they, they're on the hunt now. The AC comes up. And the AC also comes up by Yellow Team. And the pass is coming. And he gets flank again. 
Okay, they're getting flanked themselves all the way around there. And now, this shouldn't be thrown. Okay, in my opinion, this shouldn't be thrown. Uh, anywhere higher. Yeah, I reckon, okay. I mean, it depends on your rank, but this ball right here. From here, you shouldn't throw this. I reckon that's being caught. Cool. Uh, maybe in diamond, okay. In ruby, I might let it off. In diamond, I don't want to see you throwing this. Okay, because there's a high chance that's being caught. Cool. And it is. And his teammate, uh, he flaps immediately. And then his teammate doesn't actually flap. He just gets hit with it. This is nice, though. He doesn't flap. Uh, he, he gets a fake. They don't flap. So he decides, you know, pass it to our teammate. Uh, this guy on the right, Foxium, he flaps. Uh, we'll just try to predict it. This guy tries to tackle. He knew where the guy was. He could either try and turn him 180 and flap. Or he just has to guess where that pass is going and tackle. And he just, he just misreads it. And it's just unlucky. And now it's 1-6. They've got some points on the board. They've managed to bait Foxy's dash. And now they're coming back. 2-6. Trouble running off for the ball possession. His teammates are dead. So it's not like he needs to rotate anywhere directly. His teammates spawned with him. And they're going up for the AC-130. The ball comes up. So there's a soda ball. And now he's dashing away, okay? Because he's looking straight up. It's very risky. The Foxium drops. Bro, Foxium's like, they've, they've retreated. I just need to drop and help my teammate. That's what he does. People are blind. Tropical's blind. And we just see some tackles. We can't really see what's going on here. A few more points are picked up. It's now 8-3. And we just clean out the game. Uh, he wants the AC-130. And it looks like they are going to do it. Uh, two ACs come up. They're going to have a battle mid-air. But they're going to realise, okay, he throws this. It's being cool. So I'd much rather just drop on someone that's not going to catch it. Okay, so we don't want to aim on him from afar. And we see it just ends up being a double throw. They get hit by one ball. They get hit by the other. And that's round number one. Now, Carmody needs want to win one more. Okay, and they slayed uh, Untold Documents. I'm going to review you. 10-3. It was not a close match. Untold Documents have won a match, though. I'm only reviewing this last match because, I mean, the length of these videos. Not that I know how much people want. Uh, but we see the exact same tactic coming out again. This time, I think Karma actually does win both. And they do. And now they all push mid. You see, they're flooding this mid. Uh... I, I think it might have been referee that flaps. They couldn't counter it, but the first inhalation comes in. They're just passing it about. And Blue can't get any balls until now. And now they have the balls. They both have a ball, and the passes come in. And you see, he's staring right at referee. But you see, Bess here is the ball. He flaps for referee. Bess just counters on the other person's flaps. That's why you play together as a team. Okay, that's why you both have the ball. That's why you both look at the same person. It's 1-1. And now they're pushing up. They both have a ball. This, this might just be for rotation purposes, I'm guessing. Uh... Or they're preparing for the AC. I'm guessing he balled up maybe for an AC. And he just decided not to. Or they're literally rotating. Because you'll see. They'll, well, you'll see that. I, they'll AC in a second right here. They literally just get the throw. He balls up. And they AC. He doesn't have a ball to throw. So normally. But you, you don't need to be the person that throws it. Obviously he ACs. He's the one that ACs. But Foxium could also get that pass. Foxium might have a ball little there. So it doesn't have to be you that throws it. Remember. Especially in Team Co now. When people are going to start spawning separately. You don't have to be the one that passes it. But, yeah, he's in a 1v, 1v3. Uh, he managed to get his teammates out. There's three balls staring at him. This guy on the left has a ball. This guy has a ball. This guy has a ball. He's, he's done for. He tries to escape. He does escape once, actually. Uh, and then he just gets completely destroyed by that double throw. And, yeah, he can't do anything. It's a 1v3. And now it's 2-1 in favour of untitled documents. So he push mid. This is what I don't like. He best drew. Okay, we see uh, the pass is coming in. And he's just, he's, he's just running into mid. He doesn't have a ball. He just runs into mid. There's no reason. Foxy's over here. Uh, someone else is over here. There's, there's no one there that he's running into. Okay, and he doesn't have a ball. So there's no reason for him to run there. That's a misplay by him. And you see, he flaps uh, Tropical and just gets killed. He's just costed his team a point. But, you know, it happens. He just run in. Tropical. Uh, did he just... I, th I think he might have flapped with no one's there. Now referee's just wondering. Wondering about. He tries to get this ball. He's just being bullied at this point. All three on one again. He can't get this ball. Gets kind of stuck. Gets hit once. And now he's kind of stuck here as well. And just can't escape. It's 2-4. In favour of Karma. And now they've also got ball possession. They're getting a bit more aggressive. Bubbly's behind. I just like this tackle. Okay, there's a lot of stuff that I'm that obviously I would play different. Or, well, I wouldn't play differently because I'm not as good as these guys. But isn't optimal in my opinion. This tackle here, you throw that, you're winning that. Uh, I think he tackles to just try and get the hit and maybe the stun. And then he throws immediately. Obviously, if this teammate throws the ball at the same time, then you're vibing because he can't double catch. However, we actually see the teammates go for the pass. So he just gave up this double catchable possession type vibe that they had going. And he just catches both. 
and then he flaps, and then he gets hit. So in that situation where he could have got a free hit, he ends up giving up both his and his teammate's ball, and he gets hit out of it. Uh, so now they push up, he's preparing the soda ball, uh, so he can't throw it back. You see by the time they're throwing it back, it only blinds them, so it's well timed by him. Uh, and it looks like they might be going for another AC, or they're just playing it safe. They've got the ball form, there's a few balls on the ground. And obviously, they have balls on the ground, so there's no point in having that ball form, so they just let him go and do the passing. They want to get that ball, but they don't want to push out too much. This guy's flapping like a bird, I don't even know. Uh, and the passes are coming in. Uh, these guys are flapping, but everyone's flapping. It's a tackle fest. No one knows what's going on anymore. And now we, it's, it's everyone crowding, trying to get this one ball. This is what happens when there's only one ball. I did not mean to press that. Uh, and uh, it doesn't look like referee coming out of the ball. Charge ball at that. It seems like there's a pass in there. And now it's a 2v1 on referee. We can't see anything because the camera operator loves uh, giving us the soda ball. But... Uh, yes, <laughs> honestly, I did not really watch this far, but we have this. Oh, I remember. Okay. Okay. So, I apologise for being a bit, um, I, I just kind of stopped it here. But, I remember this. So, first of all, whether he should have thrown this. Okay, he did just get the pass. There's a chance he's not catching this. His teammate did just, I'm not sure what his teammate's doing here. But, you're ready for one of the clutches of your life. So, don't throw it back. Throw it off the map. And he does manage his, manage to break out. I'm not sure whether he... This is very quick spamming. May I add? So you have 12, I think it? I think it is? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That is very quick. And not only that, but the tackle to recover. So obviously, we have our jumps. Now, you're going to keep on decreasing every time you jump. This is this is what your lobs look like or your flips. You obviously only have one uh, thing. If you're gliding, it's going to look like this. And what this guy does... Now, if you tackle, it's going to look like this. So what this guy does... Is he goes like this, and then like this. Because this, this is where the ground is. The ground is here, so he can just land on it. Okay, it's very smart to use that tackle at the end. And something, uh, you you got to remember, if you want to recover, put in that tackle. One of the best recoveries I've ever seen. And now, it's a 2v1. One, they forget about him. They forget about him. They're like, bro, forget about him. There's probably some comm saying, triple calls here, triple calls here on one heart. So the pass has come in, and he's hit from above again. Okay, this isn't a long throw. This is a, from above where it's hard to catch. This is how much uh, throwing hits are guaranteed matters, and not throwing balls from afar. So now, Karma's still in front, they're kind of camping in here, and uh, referee's kind of holding back, he's getting the balls, he's passing them forward, while everyone else has a nice little fight. Uh, and the trades go on, and it seems like uh, Karma is winning it. The referee gets hit here. Uh, we don't really have the Warner balling, so we're not sure who is aiming at, whether it's a target switch. But he ends up dying to the soda ball. Simmons gets blind. He's backing away. Does manage to put up a decent bit of a fight. But we see him flap uh, right there at the end of the last frame. Tropical. And we have, obviously, an AC-130 from Blue. Which I think does hit. This does hit. He does flap. They don't, can't counter it. This guy's jumping. They're obviously trying to comp. Saying what to do next. Who to focus. Referee here. He's just trying to back off. They have the player ball in hand. They don't want to ult. Okay, ulting in this situation will be very bad. Because everyone will just clear off. And then it will get punished. Uh, I mean, it's the wrong time to talk about it, but we might as well. If you're if you are ulted, say this guy is is your ulted guy, you want to stand around and try and catch for him. Okay, either this guy lands safe behind like a wall, what beautiful art from me, or you try and catch it for him. Uh, just you know, for we might as well put it in. Uh, not to boost the view time or anything, but we're all jumping about. This guy flaps. That's what we're baiting. We're baiting. We're not throwing it immediately. We're waiting for the flaps, and we see all these passes coming in. This is a nice tackle, okay? If Dev doesn't make this tackle, he, he, he's, he's gone past the ball and he's dead. So he needs to make that tackle. Best, you see, he's also coming in. He's got to come in. He's got to have his teammate. Though it's 9-4 and he's on one heart, in this situation, you don't want to leave this guy on his own, okay? Even though you're on one heart, you want to come and assist. Uh, but kind of just kind of hang back a bit, okay? Don't, don't be too too energetic there. But uh, I don't think that was a travel. Uh, much, no, that wasn't a travel. That was literally just a fake. In case anyone's like moaning. Uh, but they just turn around. Uh, he doesn't actually flap. And they just manage to get the hit with the player ball. That's a game and they've won. 2,100 coin. One tra 2,100 dollars. There we go. Foxy. Uh, Tropical. Probably isn't his name. I've been calling him that. And Bubbles. Uh, but except from that. This has been a somewhat long video. Not very much editing. But 
In the words of Nogamimim himself, the laziest videos perform the well, best. So if this does perform the best, I'll be very impressed. Uh, but if you do want a more heavily edited video, I do have a few others. I have one here, uh, which is a squid game. Except from that, uh, check out my YouTube. This is my YouTube. Anyway, just subscribe. You know the drill. You know the drill. And I hope to see you again another time. You can't really see that. That's very sad. That's very sad. That's very sad. Uh, but yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And except from that, uh, goodbye.